guys, this is Juan here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the brand new update on the Galaxy Watch Active 2. And um, as you can see, it's uh, 165.49 megabytes for this update. And as you can see on this on this video, uh, it, sh it comes up with advanced running analysis, giving you the insights you need to improve for your running form. VO2 max, check the maximum amount of oxygen you utilize to during the exercise to improve your endurance. Also, it comes with detect falls, uh, which it was initially uh, included on the Galaxy Watch 3. Now you have that here on this update. The watch can send out SOS calls and messages to emergency contact when a hard fall is detected. And has notifications of when receiving messages, uh, notifications, and a chat window appears and can also view images. Also, the AR emoji, Bitmoji, send an AR emoji uh, through the watch. As soon as you open the text messages, you will be able to send that. Also, you can uh, capture support scroll uh, screenshots, which features that automatically sends the screen capture image to your phone. And uh, it gives you a link right here on um, where you can go to find additional information, this is a screenshot. But the main focus here is that we just finally got an um, update on this watch that it was initially been advertised back in 2019 and it, it finally made it to the phone. So here it is the new update with the, which enables the ECG. This is the official update and you don't have to um, do any modified application, download any modified applications to use the ECG now. As you can see right here, um, the only bad news about this is that unfortunately it will only measure the ECG with a Samsung phone. Non Samsung phones are not going to be able to do that. So um, that's the only bad part about it that only Samsung phones are going to be able to uh, go ahead and register the ECG um, on your watch. Also, after the update has been completed, you will see that there is a brand new app that is called um, Samsung Monitor right here. So if you open it up, it's going to show the app like this, introducing the brand new Samsung Monitor app, and it will give you like a, a small um, message right there which says your Galaxy Watch can record and analyze, analyze your uh, heart rhythm for the presence of trial fibrillation a type of irregular heart rhythm. So what we're going to do is we click get started and um, also here on my watch. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. On the watch right here. This is the app. So you open the app and it's going to give you this um, EKG, ECG, follow the instructions in Samsung Health Monitor to set up your watch. So what we're going to do is going to open it up on the phone as you can see right here. And now we go next. It gives you a detailed information on, you may see one of these results, uh, sinus rhythm, a trial for a fibrillation, inconclusive, or poor recording. So you click next. Now things that you should know, ECG app never looks for signs of heart attack. Do not use ECG app if you experience shortness of breath, chest pain, or pressure, fainting, thing might be a heart attack. Uh, contact an emergency services immediately. Do not use the CG app if you have an implanted pacemaker, implanted cardiac defibril defibrillator, or other implanted electronic devices. That was a hard word. <laughs> okay, so we continue with next. On this one, it says you should know ECG app never looks for more for forms or arrhythmia other than AFIB. It never looks for other heart-related conditions, including high blood pressure, congest congestive um, heart failure, high cholesterol, blood clots, or stroke. Do not change your medication or dosage based on ECG results. Always talk to your doctor first, which is something that you definitely need to do. This is not something that you need to play around with. So um, if you are one of those persons that, you know, uh, you want to be 100% accurate with what you need to do, Make sure that you visit your uh, your doctor and follow the, their advices. So now we select next. 
he's gonna ask you on which wrist do you wear your Samsung watch. Uh, in my case, I use the left, but of course, if you use the right, then you eventually will select the right. And then you go next. On this one, it says, all set, open Samsung Health Monitor. On your Galaxy Watch, make sure your watch is snug on your left wrist. Rest your forearms on table and slightly rest um, a fingertip on top but on the top button for 30 seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now um, let me go ahead and put my watch on. Okay, so this is my watch right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and place the uh, the finger. And I'm going to put it on to rest. Okay, so moisture your skin and try it again. Moisturize your skin and try it again. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let's go ahead and try this again. Okay. I don't think it's working. Hold on, let me try this again. Okay, make sure it's no. Let's try this again. Okay, fine. Okay, so it says wear the watch 10 minutes before um, getting an ECG. So I'm, I'm going to wait 10 minutes and see what happens. One hour later. Try to get a. Uh, to get a good reading on the ECG new app after the update, but for some reason it's not getting, I'm not able to get a good read. Um, I was wearing the watch for probably 40, 50 minutes. Uh, after I said that you have to be wearing the watch for at least 10 minutes. I did that and uh, it didn't work for me. So if you are able to get it to work on your watch, on your phone, please um, Leave a comment on the section down below and let me know what you did um, in order for me to try it so I can get a good reading. Of course, I will be trying on later on um, tomorrow and uh, and see if it works and I will give you an update on that. But uh, as you can see, it says wear the watch for 10 minutes before recording an ECG. I did that. It didn't work. Uh, I placed a button. I'm, uh, it actually says moisturize your, your, your hands in order for you to get a good read, but it was not working. So... Uh, please give this a video a thumbs up and um, I would really really appreciate if you do that Also, if you're not subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and subscribe hit that uh, notification bell So you'll get notified uh, notified every time I upload a new video and thank you so much for visiting my channel and without you guys um, I really wouldn't be here. So thank you so much for everything you're doing. Thank you so much for your love and love and support I will be um, videos uh, in regards to the new Samsung devices. I still have to uh, post a video about the the Galaxy Note 20 uh, unboxing and first video, so I will be uploading that soon. Again, thank you so much, and if you're not, not if, uh, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so, and uh, hit the notification bell, and thank you so much for watching. Until the next one.